Greetings gamers, Girk here. Uh, today I am playing Fallout 4 and the reason is going to become evident shortly. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the channel and then I will go into the rest of the video. Uh, the update is that I have finished you know, the seventh season actually on all platforms, twice on the PC in fact. And after doing that, I guess it's kind of my own fault in a sense, but I've gotten kind of bored with 76 for a while. So I haven't really been playing it much. Um, I've decided to go back to Fallout 4. I still enjoy the Fallout world and whatnot, so it's been such a long time I decided to go back. Uh, so that's the update. Now what this video is about is uh, my concept with going back to Fallout 4 was to play a Fallout 76 style stealth commando, but in Fallout 4. And at the point I've gotten to now, without using any mods or anything, or any kind of cheats, I'm at level 27. Uh, but I'd say you're good pretty much at about level 25, 26. Um, I'm pretty happy with my performance, and I was just going to show you my build and the weapons that I'm using. So here's my build. <clears throat> Three strength. I'll go through each attribute and tell you, like, give you highlights of why I think this is important. Uh, gonna want armor and be able to get armor to level two. That gives you access to at least level two. It gives you access to uh, a lot of good mods to improve your armor. Perception, of course, for accuracy with the uh, vats, because I'm gonna use uh, use vats quite a bit. I tip riflemen early just because it takes a little while before you can get a hold of any of the commando style weapons. Locksmith, always useful. I'd say riflemen is kind of optional. Uh, I also like my explosives, especially in 76, if you watch me play and my friends that play with me know that I enjoy throwing grenades. Um, so I have demolitions here up to level 3. Endurance I have at, oh yeah, the other reason why perception is at 10. Uh, I took it to 9 and then I used um, the perception bobblehead that you get early on in the campaign uh, to raise it to 10 so that I could take concentrated fire. Uh, and I've gotten it to level 2. Uh, I could let raise it up again, which I probably will, when I get another level up. Let's see, endurance at level 3 gives me... Well, I can take life giver. You can start pumping your health up more. Uh, lead belly is not so important. Toughness, you can also take that, which is also good. But I'm not worrying about those yet. Uh, I've been putting my level up points into uh, cap collector just to give myself more caps for to buy better stuff and ammo and whatnot. So that's not that important now. Intelligence, uh, this is at seven. And this is important, you wanna have at least three here so that you can get gun nut and because you want to be modding those guns and making them into automatics if they're not already. Also science is important uh, for doing some improvements like if you use power armor uh, you're going to want to improve your power armor and also uh, for laser weapons later on as well as I'm using I am using a a method of uh, making poison caltrips, so you need to be able to, to do that at level 6. I'm not using the caltrips as a weapon, but I'm selling them to make more caps. Uh, chemist is at 1 also. That's what the purpose of a chemist is, I was going to say. Uh, chemist is to make the caltrips. Now, uh, lastly, I've got an agility of 5. And that allows me to take, of course, Commando, so you need at least a 2, uh, and get your Commandos perk up. And then also, you got to have Sneak, so you got to have at least a 3, really, in order to do a Stealth Commando sort of build. But I would recommend at least a 5, because that gives you access to Action Boy. So that's why that's at 5 because you're going to want those AP points. And lastly, luck. I, I don't currently have anything in luck, but I have a luck of uh, four. So I may, I'll probably end up taking bloody mess. That's probably the primary reason. 
Maybe I'll take Mysterious Stranger just for fun, but that's like a later level, just sort of goof around sort of thing. If I'm going for pure efficiency, I'm not going to take that until much later. And that sums up my <laughs> my perks. Now to show you some of the weapons that I'm using. This is my primary weapon. is It's from Creation Club. Uh, the CR-74L <clears throat> and this one you find from doing the quest is a bloody so when my health does go low I'm going to do some extra damage I've got it's already an automatic weapon so it doesn't matter what kind of frame you put on it it's always automatic so that one's good uh, let's see also just with concentrated fire I also use this automatic pistol as a backup. Or not that one, actually I have a better one. This is the one I use. My incinerary automatic. But that doesn't fall under commando of course. Uh, I still have some stuff I need to sell. And yes, otherwise yeah I was using this quite a while for quite a while. And this is probably gonna be one of your first commando style weapons that you can get together which is a uh, automatic pipe rifle with a big clip on there so it doesn't do the best damage though you can see with commando perks it's only doing like 20 damage but it has a large clip and it can put out yeah 48 rounds it can put out quite a few rounds 